This video provides an introduction to levels. Levels or planning levels are used in the scheduling areas and they allow you to layer different types of events into one master calendar for your organization. OPAS employs four different levels. Level one is the default level. It is the public level. If you create an activity in the software, OPAS assumes that it's a level one event unless you tell it otherwise. Level four is sometimes called the planning level. Level four events are used to plan future seasons. It's possible in OPAS to create an entire season at level four and then create contracts for it, create musician services, assign expenses, and then when that future season is ready, you just roll the four back down to a one and it becomes part of your public calendar. Your organization will use levels two and three however you decide. Some examples include production events, education events, administrative events, perhaps your orchestra is affiliated with an opera or a pops orchestra. Many organizations put archival recordings at level two and three. Level two and three are events you want to track, you want to print on calendars, you want to see on your OPAS screen, but not all the time, and they are not part of your primary orchestra schedule. In my demo database here, level two events are production events. And if I tell the OPAS calendar show level one events and side by side show level two events, you can see now production events appear and their outline matches the hash with the level two legend at the top. I can tell the calendar to show levels one, two, and three side by side. And this shows you the power and the use of levels. The primary calendar display is level one, the orchestra or public schedule. Secondary is level two, and the third level is three. And this is the way most orchestra employees would view your calendar. However, your production director may want to see the reverse. Their primary working level is two, and secondarily is the orchestra schedule, and now you can see those two are reversed. If you make use of different planning levels in OPAS, you will probably want to use their dedicated dates program area. Over here in my favorites, you can see I have a dates area, and a dates level two area. Again, the level one is implied. So if I open the dates area and look at that same project in the dates area, season 1516, project is special three and I press the enter key. Notice how the rehearsals and concerts appear, but not these two production events. That's because they are level two events. Conversely, if I open level two, and do the exact same search, 1516, and project is special three, press the enter key, the exact reverse appears. Only the two load ins, none of the orchestra events. So using planning levels, you can isolate events in your schedule that appear on paper and on screens when you want them to. You also get use of dedicated program areas to manage those events. You can set screen layouts in level two to be very different from layouts in level one. Other videos will talk about assigning and changing planning levels and how the level setting here in the calendar can affect new events.